Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content that we are currently putting out. Pretty much every single 24 hours or up to 48 hours, we're putting out content to help you with your sports training coaching business. Okay, so make sure you subscribe. Don't stay stuck with your business. Now, if you want to get in contact with me personally, then there's two ways to do that. The first one is you can book a free 15 to 20 minute one-on-one -on -one call, right? If you go to the description of this video, you will find my Calendly link there. Book a, a call with me. Click on the link. You can book a free, uh, free, to, free 15 to 20 minute call. Now, if you don't want to do that and you want to send me some business questions, then you can do that as well. Send it to my email, which is makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. I make it mission every single day to answer all the coaches who reach out to me. So today I want to talk about the three biggest money mistakes coaches are currently making with their training business. So I speak to coaches on a regular basis. I also work with coaches with their business, right? I myself have a coaching business as well. And these are a couple of mistakes that I made at the beginning as well. And these are mistakes that I see coaches in this industry make uh, every single day with their business as well. Okay, so what I want you to do is get a pen and paper, make sure you make some notes, because I can guarantee you that this will help you. All right, and you will get value out of this video if you pay attention and you make notes and take into take in everything that I'm about to share with you. Okay, so the first one is coaches are currently saving money. They're not storing money to invest. All right now, saving and storing are two different things. In my, in my opinion, okay, and I'm going to explain the benefits and the advantages of, of uh, and the disadvantages of both, right? So if you have a training business and you're simply, your business is doing really well, okay, say you're making five to 10K per month, right? And you're saving that money, okay? Obviously, as a business owner, you need to sell, save money because at the end of the day, you need to pay your taxes. So saving money is good. But what I notice a lot of coaches are doing is they're just saving money for the purpose of saving money because they don't want to spend uh, or invest into their business again. Now, the problem with saving money, and this is something that I spoke to a coach uh, very recently, right? If you save money and you're, you're not spending it, ultimately that money is going to devalue in your account. Okay, and that's gonna it's gonna devalue due to inflation, right? So I'll give you an example. Say for example, you have a 10k saved up in your in your bank account, your business bank account, right? You haven't touched it, you haven't invested into your business, it's just sitting there. Over time, you know, with inflation, that pr prices are gonna go up, and that 10k in a year's time will be worth less because you haven't invested that money, right? So that, that 10K, ultimately, depending on which country, which location you're at, ultimately, that, that, that 10K will be worth either 8 or 7K in 12 months, right? And that's pretty much due to, to inflation because you're losing money by saving money. Now, storing money is a little bit different, right? And what I, I like to do with my business and what I encourage coaches to do I encourage coaches to store money so that they're storing ready to invest. Okay, so, so picture it like this. You, you're going to a grocery store, right, and you're, you're buying food, right, and essentially you're storing that food for then later on you're going to eat it, right? You're going to consume it. So you've got to see your business the same way, right? You're storing money to pay off your taxes, to pay off your expenses and then what are we going to do with the, what, that remaining money how can we invest it back into the business so that it creates recurring revenue for us right so recurring revenue might be you invest that into a mentor so that you can learn new skills you buy uh, equipment 
right equipment such as well coaching equipment it could be balls it could be cones it could be goals right something that you're going to need in the future when your when your clientele essentially grows and you get more numbers okay maybe you want to invest it into a business vehicle so that you can get from one one location to the other and take your equipment with you that's essentially an investment if it's for business purposes okay or you might want to purchase a uh, books and education right investing into courses learning how learning about sales learning about marketing okay so essentially all these all these things also you can invest into um ad paid ads right so this could be facebook ads this could be youtube ads right so all of this is is essentially your say you're storing money to then further down the line invest it back into your business so that that investment can then pay you back right so there is a difference with uh, saving and storing essentially the coach that is saving for the purpose of just saving money so it's just sitting there ultimately is going to lose out because essentially that money is going to devalue over a period of time due to inflation and essentially that 10k you have now is going to be worth less in 12 months so essentially you've lost you know if you've got 10k sitting in your bank account you're not investing it back into your business or you're not doing anything with it in 12 months time that 10k could be worth 8k right and essentially just by having it in your bank account it's it's already lost 2k okay so what we want to do is we want to store money so that we can pay off our taxes, pay off any expenses that we need to pay off that have to be paid. And then how can we we invest that money stored back into the business so it so it generates extra revenue and income for for the business. Right. The second mistake I'm seeing with a lot of coaches is essentially what coaches are doing. They're spending their money on non business items. Right. So essentially be, items that aren't tax deductible okay so what i mean by tax deductible is essentially what what there is is when you have a business and you you do your taxes you can write off certain purchases that you make throughout the the year that are for per, for for business use okay so for example as i mentioned if you do paid advertising Right, that's a business expense. If you buy a company vehicle, right, and it's just used for for company purposes, then that's that's a business expense. Um, any books, any equipment, right, any mentors, any coaching programs that you buy, all of those things, right, essentially can be written off against your profits. Okay, so essentially when it gets to when it gets to uh, that time of the year when we do our taxes we're going to pay less due to those expenses so something i'm seeing with a lot of coaches however is they aren't spending their or investing them their business money into items or into products into into services that can then be tax deductible right a lot of them a lot of coaches are splashing money on expensive meals Okay, they're splashing money on on cars, on houses, things that things that aren't business related, and things that aren't going to help their business to grow. Okay, I've seen coaches spend loads of money on on new watches, new jewelry, uh, vacations, uh, expensive items. Right, all of these things aren't business related. And essentially, if they aren't business related, we can't write them off. Okay, so what's going to happen when it comes to paying your taxes, you're going to have less money to pay your taxes and your tax bill will get higher due to the fact that you're not you're not spending money and you're not reinvesting those profits into a business related uh, services and products. Okay, so one way coaches are using money incorrectly right is they're, they're splashing their money out on items which have no 
business purpose and it isn't generating new revenue and new income into their business, right? Now, the third one is this, essentially they spend money, okay? The, the third mistake I'm seeing is what coaches are doing is they're spending money at the beginning on things that aren't really necessary, right? So what I see is a lot of startup coaches, when they're first starting up their business, they're spending a lot of money on websites, they're spending a lot of money on creating a logo, okay? They're spending a lot of money on, on things, on branding, uh, buying new training gear, spending money on, on expensive equipment, Right now, all of those things go back to my second point, which they are tax deductible in the long term. But when we're starting up, all we need to be focused on is sales, right? All we need to be focused on is how can we get in front of people who are buy, can buy our services and who are a good fit for our program. So I remember when I first started my business, the, the first thing I did is I learned sales, right? I learned how to sell, I learned how to market, I learned how to promote myself. And I didn't even have a website at that time. All I was using was I created a, a business Facebook page and essentially I was driving all the traffic to that page, okay? Because at the beginning, all I needed to do is I needed to get in front of parents and families, tell them what who I was, tell them what I was doing and how I could help their child. And once they saw value in me, and once they saw that I provided something that they were looking for, I was solving a problem, then they started to invest money into my training, okay, and essentially my business. And then once I started to, to create that, that revenue, that income, then I spent money on a website, I spent money on business cards, then I spent money on, on branding, Okay, but at the beginning, all it was, was focus on sales. Okay, how can I sell myself to parents? How can I promote myself to parents? And then I had a Facebook page, which I was driving all the traffic to there. Okay, but essentially what I wanted to do at the beginning, I wanted to get in front of, of parents, tell parents who I was, what I was doing, and essentially get myself known to my audience. Once I did that, then the money started coming in and then I had to then become smart with how I spent that money. Okay, but at the beginning, what I see a lot of trainers do is they think it's necessary to have a cool website, a cool logo, right? All these business cards, all these leaflets, these flyers. Essentially, all of that is money which at the beginning, you shouldn't be spending. All you should be doing is in investing in the basics, which is making sure your business is set up correctly. So finding an expert to set up your business, right? Getting business insurance, which is important because once you start working with, with clients, even, even if it's free, you need to have insurance, okay? And then the third thing is, is sales, right? Invest in your, investing in learning and education. Once you've got those three things in place, which essentially don't cost a lot of money, then you start to build confidence and then you start to get in front of parents, they start to invest into you, then we can think about the next step, which is right, now I need to buy better equipment, now I need to maybe hire out a facility, now I need to you know, spend money on a better website, now I need to spend money on a better logo, right, on my branding, my marketing, but at the beginning, right, we want to keep it simple, and this is where I see a lot of coaches that they end up struggling because they throw a lot of money into things that aren't, necess not, aren't necessary at the start, and then it hurts them in the short term when they're struggling to get clients, okay, because at the beginning, it's hard, right, it's hard, it's tedious, you have to, you know, you have to sell, 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 and it can be uncomfortable as well, okay? So if you need more help with this, again, get in contact with me. I'm here to help. So the two ways you can do that. First, uh, book a free 15 to 20 minute call with me. Visit the link in the description. You can book a call there or 
second way, send me a question to my email at makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.